with hundreds of super yachts sold every year across the globe and hundreds of millions of dollars spent chartering, yacht brokerage is a multi-billion dollar industry catering to some of the world's most wealthy and most powerful individuals. It is a glamorous business for sure, but behind the glitter and the dazzle of cocktail parties in Monaco and gala dinners in Miami, a brokerage company has to run a highly efficient organization if they want to survive in this competitive environment. The brokerage company that I work for is one of the largest and the most successful in the world and they invited me to take a look behind the scenes of their operation for a one year period so that I could show you just what goes on in the Four Seasons of Northrop & Johnson. The spring of 2019 saw Northrop & Johnson in new premises for the first time in decades. The Lauderdale Marine Centre was the perfect location for them. Not only is Fort Lauderdale one of the world's most important yachting venues, but the Lauderdale Marine Centre is also the US's largest foreign trade zone, allowing yacht transactions to take place with extraordinary ease. In this fresh, and modern new facility, a real family feeling has developed between the employees, many of whom have worked for the company for well over a decade. But don't let the jovial spirit of hospitality and friendship fool you. Behind the smiling faces and joking banter lies a group of some of yachting's finest and most experienced professionals. Here, the CEO of Northrop & Johnson, Kevin Merrigan, works from a modest and functional office. When he's in the area, Kevin, one of the world's most successful yacht brokers, has been with the company for over 30 years and clearly believes that business is best done out of the office, on the yachts, with the clients, networking and communicating, leading from the front and keeping a firm finger on the ever-changing pulse of the yachting industry. In keeping with the very practical and down-to-earth approach that he takes towards what is, let's face it, a spectacularly glamorous industry, in 2014, he decided to employ a COO of the company so that he could focus more fully on the core business of Northrop & Johnson, the business of selling yachts. Daniel Zeriakis was selected for this position a young and dynamic multilingual professional with notable experience in yacht marketing at the very highest possible level. Daniel's remit was to ensure that Northrop & Johnson be the most efficient service oriented brokerage company the market has to offer. To accomplish this, a marketing team was put together including the Director of Marketing, Alfredo Lopez, who speaks with enthusiasm about the time that he joined the company shortly after Daniel. He received directions to focus strongly on digital marketing across all platforms and significant improvements were made to the Northrop & Johnson website, leading to some pretty impressive and immediate results. From 2015 to 2016, Northrop & Johnson saw an increase of 545% in their direct inquiries. And that is the result that they were looking for. As more and more inquiries are directed to the company, the marketing team focus on creating digital tools that the sales and charter brokers can use in their day-to-day -day activities to ensure that they can give a better service to their clients, whether they're seeking to buy, sell, or charter a yacht. And speaking of brokers, the new office in Fort Lauderdale is divided in two wings. On one side, there are the sales brokers and their assistants, a quite unique pool of knowledge and experience 
that includes Joe Foger, who worked for over a decade as the president of American superyacht builder Christensen. And Wes Sanford, one of the industry's most respected and successful yacht brokers, having closed around 150 yacht sales in a 14-year period. Whilst all of the sales brokers have access to this comfortable and practical office environment, they all know that like their CEO, they need to spend time out of the office and on the yachts to make the sales happen. In this same area of the facility, preferred insurance partner Private Insurance Services is located, where some of the industry's most experienced and well-connected yacht insurance brokers and in-house underwriters work to ensure that the company really can be the most service-oriented brokerage in the world. A wide corridor connects the two wings of the Northrop & Johnson head office, and as you walk from one wing to the other, you pass two very important departments. The Crew Services Department manages a database of over 15,000 crew members from across the globe, from captains to chefs, and from engineers to stewardesses, this department constantly finds placements for crew members looking for work and for yacht owners looking for crew. Possibly the most incredible office though is the accounts department. This small group of dedicated professionals literally process hundreds of millions of dollars every year as funds are transferred for yacht charters and yacht sales, Payments are made for boat shows and advertising. This is the financial hub for every one of Northrop & Johnson's worldwide organization. From Australia to Monaco, Hong Kong, Palma de Mallorca, Thailand, and from one coast of the United States to the other. It is a truly mammoth task, handled efficiently by some of the industry's finest. The other wing of Northrop & Johnson's new facility is dedicated to their impressive charter services. Here too, the company has attracted some remarkably experienced individuals, including Anne Landry, who's been chartering yachts for nearly 30 years and recounts the days when charters were usually on 60 to 80 foot yachts rather than the 60 to 80 meter yachts that are often chartered now. Northrop & Johnson has always divided the charter department in two with a charter management department representing a fleet of beautiful yachts that are available for charter, and a charter retail department representing people who are looking for a yacht that they can spend time on during their vacations. When a brokerage company combines these two distinct roles, the result can often be that brokers try to maximize their commission by introducing clients first to the yachts that they personally have in their fleet now this is good for the bottom line of the company, but it's not necessarily the best service for the clients. By dividing the two roles into separate departments, Charter Retail will work with a variety of other brokerage houses to find the best possible fit for their client. And Charter Management will market their yacht aggressively to other brokerage houses so that they can get the best deal for the yacht owner. The commission of the individual broker is not affected one way or the other if the deal is not done in-house. So the incentive really is just to do the best thing for the client. And that keen interest in offering a good service to their clients has been key to the growth and to the success of Northrop & Johnson. Fundamentally, why do people need to use a yacht broker? Well, either they have a yacht that they want to sell, or they're looking for a yacht that they want to buy. Either they have a yacht that they want to put on the charter market, or they're looking for a yacht that they can charter. Northrop & Johnson haven't gone about trying to meet those needs of their clients by investing in expensive offices in flashy seafront locations, flying around in private jets, or brokers who strut around in designer clothes. They've been smarter than that. The investments have been made in the development of cutting edge digital marketing tools so that they can better promote the yachts that they have for sale and for charter in people who have meaningful experience in the industry. Actually, the CEO of the company, Kevin Merrigan, has always been very careful to select people who fit the company culture of down-to-earth, friendly, 
professionals. In the next video, we'll be meeting some of those people as we take a look at the summer season of Northrop & Johnson in the Mediterranean. It'll be the height of the sales and charter season, yacht sales closing, charter contracts exchanged, as the hard work put in by the head office here in Fort Lauderdale has far-reaching effects across the Atlantic.